Hey guys, I'm Maddie and welcome to my vlog. So today I'm going to be discussing a very important topic. I'm kidding. This is not going to save lives. So I'm going to be doing a what's on my phone. And basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys a bunch of apps, pictures, stuff like that. So you can kind of um, dive into my personal life. So let's go. So first up, I think I'm going to show you guys my Instagram, which is Maddie Lee Official. Here you go. Lovely, beautiful, as you can see it. Oh, here is a picture from my last vlog. It was about the different kinds of guys you're going to date in high school. So if that sounds interesting to you, I would go check that out. Here's a picture from it. And then, you know, I post like um, mini covers usually. So here's my last one. So yeah, that's enough of that. If you want to hear more, go check out my Instagram. Again, Maddie Lee Official. And no spaces. Yeah, I'm a big Ed Sheeran fan, so I chose to do that song. Um, I also have a couple of my Musical.ly's posted on my Instagram, so I think the next app that we're going to go to is Musical.ly. My apologies for that. So, <laughs> I am new to Musical.ly. Um, I was kind of late on the boat of being on Musical.ly, so I don't have a ton of them. Here's my page. Just gonna scroll down. Yeah, see, I don't have many. Uh, my Musical.ly is Maddie Lee Music, so if you are on Musical.ly, I would go check that out. Maybe we'll watch one of them here. I'll try to find one that's not bad. Uh, <laughs> this one took me a while to do, so I guess we'll so yeah there's that you know I have a couple other ones uh, maybe we'll just look at one more of them not my most recent because I don't know what that was you know what maybe we will we will watch it No, I don't really know what was happening to me during the time of that filming, but something just, you know, the song just comes and it's like, take over, you know. You probably don't know. Maybe you do know. I don't know. So, we're going to move on to a different app, and this is something that I like to call the weather. I'm going to move on to Twitter now, kind of just going to get all the social media things out of the way. My Twitter, Maddie Sings, I know, why can't I just pick one name and stick to it? Because you guys take my names. And it's far for me. Yeah, I just tweeted this picture of a milkshake that I got. It was a fun time. Um, honestly, I would, I would recommend. Alright, so, the last social media app is Snapchat, um, you all know what that is, but if you want to add me on it, Maddie Lee Official, same as Instagram, yes, one thing in common. Yes. Alright, so, I think that the next thing we're going to be moving to is the music app, and, you know, maybe we'll just, like, look at some of the songs I have, like, most played and and things. Uh, first of all, my most favorite song. Um, it's pretty popular. I think you guys might know what it is. So I'm just going to show you the cover and you guys can um, you know, let me know what you think. 
I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, but I'm not joking. Okay, I love Miranda Cosgrove. <laughs> I'm, I just, okay, so here's what happens. So I usually will sometimes, whenever I'm with my friends in the car, like, I was like, oh, I have a really good song. Like, it's the best song ever. And everyone's like, okay, so they give me the aux chord. And I start playing Miranda Cosgrove, and everyone just turns around, and they're like, are you being serious? And at first, it started as a joke. But then the song grew on me, and when it came out when I was nine, I did love the song. So, but then by the end of the song, everyone starts dancing along, like, oh, we're so happy you played this. Now people just expect it. When I'm like, I have a really good song, they're like, Miranda Cosgrove, I'm like, yeah. But everyone still lets me play it. I, I don't know. I have a lot of Shawn Mendes songs, um, obviously, you all know I love Shawn Mendes, a lot of Jason Derulo, and of course my favorite, Black Bear. I actually do have a lot of One Direction songs, my apologies, but also not my apologies because I like One Direction. I don't know, my music goes from a wide range, it basically goes from the range of about You Now by Miranda Cosgrove to EXO Tour Life by Lil Uzi. So, I don't really know <laughs> how to sum it up, but you know, we kind of just have everything going on here. Oh! <laughs> so, for those of you that are thinking, do I have games on my phone? The answer is yes, I do. I do have games on my phone. I have a whole section dedicated to the games on my phone. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got some Tiny Tower Bakery Story, Covet, Toka Kitchen 2, Subway Surfers, um, Emoji Blitz, and 2048, the Cupcake version. Now, Tiny Tower, I don't really play as much anymore. Um, it used to be the thing to do. I would always be on Tiny Tower. I have way too many floors. 97 floors. I, I got the game when I was in seventh grade. And to put it in perspective, I'm gonna be a senior in high school now. So that's kind of a long time difference and I haven't played it the whole time. I've recently gone away from playing it. Bakery Story, however, I do still play. This is a fabulous game. My bakery is called Sweet Treats with flour. And I'm gonna show you guys my bakery actually because it's pretty nice. Um, I've been a little inactive for the past couple days. My neighbors are probably annoyed. I tried really hard to decorate it and like make it look good. I tried to make like a little beach room and stuff. And um, you know, I just tried to make it look really nice and I spent a lot of time on it. I did not use my own money in the game. I might have. I might have a long time ago. I got this game a long time ago too. Never deleted. Like, I always just casually come back to play it. But the one game that I don't stop playing is actually Covet. It's my, um, little fashion game. Fun fact, I'm a fashionista. Now, this Disney emoji game, fantastic. This is the only one that's actually like a game. Every other game I have is a level, you try to build up on it. This one's an actual game. It's, it kind of has the same idea as Candy Crush, so it gets very, very addicting. And it's really cute, because it's with all the Disney characters in emoji form. See, they have all these little different ones, and the ones that are lit up are the ones that I have. I do not have that many, unfortunately. But, so I'm not the greatest. But yeah, and then it's really cool, and then once you unlock the Disney emojis, you can use them on your keyboard. So, basically, it's awesome. Bitmoji. I do have Bitmoji. I think my Bitmoji looks pretty similar to me. You know, like, I'm just gonna go on the app right now. This is it. I think it looks pretty similar to me. Um, honestly, I feel like, you know, 
For those of you that used to watch Lizzie McGuire, you know the little cartoon Lizzie McGuire that would run around and always like say how she was feeling, like cutscenes like, now that Bitmoji is a thing, I feel like I have my own Lizzie McGuire TV show. Okay guys, so that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what is on my phone and got to know a little bit more about me and things that I do on my phone, which is where I spend a lot of my time. So you would think that I would have more apps, but I don't. How am I just now realizing this? Anyway, I wanted to take a quick second to make an announcement about my debut EP, I'm Done, which is now available at iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, Google Play, Deezer. I feel like I'm forgetting some of them. Go download the EP and some of the videos are here on YouTube holding on mine and I'm done are posted so go check those out all right guys so you know the drill remember to click the subscribe button leave a comment down below and hit the thumbs up button and when you subscribe or if you're already subscribed hit the bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post a new video yay I'll see you guys next time <laughs>